Spoonful of Cetoplasm Lion Star Log Entry 2022 Russian Dracos 5467-314 Lenny Lion Star The Cedar Valley Minstrel of Heaven Can. Supernatural Minstrel Gear of the Ancient Blood Moon Music Minstrel Guild. Report narration by AI Cypher Artificial Intelligent Transcriber of the Supernatural Minstrel Gears. I was summoned on a minstrel mission to the town of Camp May. I was informed two reptilian Russian drags were in the area to meet with the Antichrist Orange Carrot Puppet to relay info on the Ukrainian war assault taking place. They were there to deliver a secret message from the Russian drag Putin also known as Putin the Poison Chef who is the leader of the new reptilian-controlled Russian drag federation. I was to use an undetectable blood moon cloaking device a new model developed by my supernatural gear sound and paranormal device and super gear guitar maker Blackie Drac a sixth sector non-blood drinking Drac who is working with me and also a great friend. I was to intercept the message and report back to the blood moon music minstrel guild of what was being said. When I arrived the hotel I had booked had no record of my booking that I had called and set up. Nothing. No reservation as if I had made none. Very strange. I then knew something weird most likely going down my stay there was being diverted. I drove to the edge of town looking for another room to rent for the night. I was being forced or being manipulated to find another hotel I found this very old spooky hotel on the edge of town and booked a room. It was very old and you had to walk down a long hallway to use the bathroom. That night very strange things began to happen. My bedroom door was locked. In the middle of the night the door started shaking violently. The knob on the door keep turning as if someone was trying to get into my room. Then whatever it was started pounding. I didn't want to open the door as the first thing that hit my mind was Podergus trying to get in. The noise then suddenly stopped. I feel asleep only to awaken in a trance-like state awake and asleep in a dreamy state of mind. I then became unable to move. The left side of my body began to lift up into the air. I was unable to move. Something a shadow began to walk around to the other side of the bed. It was really getting freaky. I was able to turn my head around to the right side of the bed and to my shock was the oldest most wrinkled dead woman I had ever seen staring right into my face inches away. I couldn't move my body. I could move my arm though and reached out. I reached out to touch her face and told this very old strange wrinkled woman looking at me that I was not afraid. I said, I'm not afraid of you. If you don't show fear from experience I've had with these lost dead souls these poltergeist or demonic entities they mostly will leave you alone. I touched her face. She then slowly faded away leaving behind a trail of ectoplasm. Then a spoon floated through the air to my face. My mouth opened. I couldn't control my mouth opening as my body was still in a state of paralysis. Ectoplasm floated into the spoon and the spoon was stuck into my mouth forcing me to eat a spoonful of this strange horrible tasting ectoplasmic fog-like liquid stream. Then quickly it all disappeared. I came out of the trance screaming and spitting what was left of this ectoplasm substance from mouth. Have no idea what this poltergeist this old ghostly dead woman was up to but I may soon find out and I don't think I'm going to like knowing the answer. Knowing the answer of what that spoonful of ectoplasm might do to me. I still need to complete my mission.
Chiotia KLRUM Chiotia KLRUM Ectoplasm